Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Techniques. I am back with another video and today we are going to learn how to design a login screen for a beer for a beer bar app and also it can be used in our cafe shop also. So let's get started. Now I have already created a new project. In order to create a new project, you can click on the link that is coming up in here. All right. And after creating the new project, I I'm into my home page HTML and I've cleaned up the code. I've made it a blank project and I have run Ionic Serve up in here. Now you can also type Ionic Serve and hit enter. The project will render and it will start working in your browser out in here. All right, let me work on it. So what I'll do is I'll remove this home page because I want to create a login page. All right, so I'll delete it and create a new page ionic generate and in short i'll write g and then i want the page name to be login let me hit enter so let's align it up now so the alignment is done now we can see the output directly up in here and my page is created now i have one error in my app routing module because out here it is showing my home page module all right i'll remove it and change this to login now as you can see my login page is showing up in here that's great now what i'll do is i don't need any header out in here i'll remove it now this is the design which we are going to build so at first i will put an image in my iron content let's do that quickly i'll have an img tag src will be equals to assets slash imgs slash beer underscore bar dot png now you must be wondering how i get this i have already set up in my assets folder i already have a folder called imgs and i have beer bar dot png and cafe dot png up in here which you can see out here right what you can do is i have already shared the code in the description I, the link is out there you can download the code and copy this imgs folder and paste it in your code also so in that manner you can get this fine so let's work on it now so i'll pass a class out here because i want to center iron text center i want to center my image and that is why i'm passing it out now i want to work on the scss of it out there what am i going to do i'll call my image tag and within that transform translate in y direction let's say 20 percent and width i want to fix it to 45 vh and let me also pass a max height of 60 vh or 50 vh will be fine so that it won't go beyond that all right so it's coming up nicely now let's work on the iron footer because i'll be using the iron footer to show this content this is prepared now i will prepare this content so i'll do everything within my iron footer now in the iron footer at first i will pass a class to my iron footer iron no border and within my iron footer i will have an iron list lines equals to none now let me pass the color as primary and let's fix a primary color now out in here what i'll do is i need to change this color to some yellowish color so i'll go to i'll open up the browser and go to the ionic docs scroll down go to colors and out here i will name it as primary and the color which i'm going to use is ffc409 and let's copy it up okay actually this is the same color of my warning also so but i'll give it as primary also because i need to use it in many places let me pass this color as primary 
out here if you want to change the color you can change it all right i'll keep it as it is we have the same color out in my warning also so if, if i want to use this one i can use this also all right so anyways i can change the color as i like so let's move ahead and let's go to the login page again now out here within my iron list what i'll have is an iron item within my iron item i'm going to have an iron label let me pass the color to be dark color which is already present in my theme let me pass a span and within that i'll pass the welcome then i will pass a class to it called title all right i'll work on it and then i'm going to have a p tag iron text wrap i'll pass this class and as you can see the text is showing up and let's work on the p tag now so for the p tag let me pass some text lorem so i'll search for some random text so let me get some random text from here i think this much is good and paste it out here let's break it all right so you can see the text right what i'll do is instead of passing it out in here i will wrap this within a iron text and in my iron text i will also pass a class iron text justify all right now let's work on the css of it first so i'll go to the scss out here within my iron footer i will have an iron list first of all i cannot set the iron list color from here so i'll remove it i have to set it from here so iron list already had a property call background and i'll pass the color dash dash iron color primary and i will also have a border radius of 20 pixel 20 pixel to the top uh, top left and top right then i don't want any border at the bottom left and bottom right so i will pass 0 0 but even you cannot see the changes out here right now because this is wrapped within our iron item so what i'll do is in my iron item i will pass dash dash background to be transparent okay i made a mistake iron list will not have this it will have directly i can pass the background dash dash is not needed that was a mistake that i was doing i'm really sorry for that now it is showing up right i'm able to see the border radius let's work on the other stuffs now so within this i will have an iron label now within the iron label i already have passed a title class to which i will give a font weight of c 800 and a font size of 20 pixel this is fine right and if i don't want it to give in pixels because if you want it to be mobile friendly that means a, in every phone it can change so i will give 2 em let's try that out let's try with 1.5 em i think this is good right so i'll pass 1.5 em instead of 20 pixel now i will have a p tag also i already have that and i will pass font weight to be bold then i will also have some margin top of say like 2vh and even i will pass the font size to be 1 em and this is showing up nicely up in here just as expected right that's great now even i want some padding also so what i'll do padding 15 pixels space 5 pixels because in the left and right side i don't i don't want much of a big padding so i'll give 5 pixels to left and right left and right and to the top and bottom i will pass 15 pixels all right and that is why i'm getting more space up in here all right so this is done now let's get back to our html and work on the buttons so after my p tag i will have an iron row to which i will pass a class iron padding vertical and within which i will have iron column to which i will give a size of six all right now within that i will have an iron button let me pass expand equals to block shape to be round and i want to pass a color also that is white color but i have no white color defined so what i'll do is i will go back out in here i will open my scss variables again i'll go back and do it now i will go to my docs again to the scss variable and create a new color from there let's go to color and quickly create a new color called white and it will be fff all right let's copy this stuff the whole thing actually now let's go to our theme variable.scss and at the end out here i will paste it and i need to pass the class in this manner so that it 
the changes can be impacted and I can use the white color directly. All right, let's do it. So the color is white and I will name it as sign, sign up. Let me check it out. All right, the text is pretty small and the sign up needs to be on the right side. All right, let's do it then. Uh, what I'll do is I'll simply copy it up and paste it out here and even I'll pass the size to be default because it is coming pretty small. Let me copy it and paste it out here also. The name of it will be sign in and the color will be dark. Let us check it again and I think I'm getting it right. All right. So this is coming up and if you want it to be a bigger of bigger size, you can pass large out here. All right. And then you can work on the text. You can pass iron text and change the text font size. And in this way, you can make it bigger. All right. I don't want it to be that big. So I'll make it as default. So our welcome page is prepared now, right? Instead of login, I should have done welcome page is out here. And now let's design our sign in page. Now before going to that, let me create another page called welcome page. I will align everything up nicely. So let me create another page called welcome and I'll pass all the things from here to the welcome page. So my welcome page is created. Now I'm going to create a sign in page within my welcome page so that I can have the stack working properly. So welcome slash sign in enter. Now once this is done, let's see out here. Now I have the welcome page and within that I have the sign in page. And in the welcome routing, I have the sign in path. That's great. Now what I'll do is I'll copy everything from my login page. I'll cut this and paste everything in my welcome page as CSS out here. Similarly, I will copy or cut all the things from my login page HTML to the welcome page HTML and I'm simply going to delete my login page. Now once that is done, just go to the app routing just like we did earlier. I'll simply remove it and change it to welcome. All right. And now I need to change the URL out in here because login does not exist. So I will remove all the URL and hit enter. Now you can see the app is still working and the URL is changed. That's great. Let's work on our sign in page now. So in my sign in page, what am I going to do? So this is a design which I'm going to build right now in my sign in page. Let's work on that quickly. So in my sign in page inside my iron header at first I will pass a class iron no border. All right. And then out in here I will not have any title so I'll remove it and within my iron toolbar what I'll do is I will pass a iron buttons the slot of that will be start because I need a back button right and in here I'm going to have an iron back button and the default href will be slash welcome all right and how can I go out there in my login page what I'll do is for my sign in I will pass a router link show you the whole thing router link will be equals to slash sign in all right let's check it out i'll click on it okay the url is wrong actually it will be slash welcome slash sign in because from the welcome page we have to go to the sign in page so this should be the whole url now if i click on it i am getting redirected to the sign in page that's great now let's go back again to the sign in page and out in here what i'll do i have set the back button now i will have another I'll simply copy it up and this time the slot will be and and out here I will be having an iron button not the back button obviously I've given it once I'll remove this and instead of this I will write fill will be equals to clear then it also has a property called strong which I'll make it a true so that the text will be bold and the color will be dark and the text which I will write out here register all right so hold this thing I will pass into my iron toolbar. All right, as you can see out here, I have the back button and I have the register button also. Remember one thing, this default rep is mandatory. If you don't give this back button won't work. All right. Now the next thing that I'm going to implement is an iron item within my iron header. So after the toolbar, I will have an iron item lines equals to none. And within my iron item, I will ha have an iron label. The color of it will be dark. Within my iron label, iron label, I will pass a span within which 
similar way I'll pass it a class out in here called title and I'll name it as sign in alright then I will also have a p tag within which I will pass the class in text wrap and also in text justify now one thing that I did wrong in my welcome page I'll show you guys is that I'm passing the iron text justify out here and it won't work up in here so what I'll do is I will pass it up in here now the impact can be seen now out in here you can see the text if I go back it is working and out in here now you can see it is getting justified right earlier it was not working properly so that was the thing I missed out sorry for that now let's come back to our sign-in page and in here in my p tag I will pass an iron text or I can simply write the text directly not need I don't need anything else so what I'll do is I will copy this whole thing up till elite all right because I want the text to be a little smaller up in here not a bigger text that's it now this is done let's work on the designing part of the sign-in page so I'll go to the SCSS and out in here let's work on the iron header now so you can see the text out in here let's work on our iron header at first I will pass the background to my iron header and that will be the primary color which I have out in my theme all right then I will work on the iron toolbar and also my iron item to both of them I will pass the background as transparent all right you can see the color is showing up up in here now I don't want this button text to be in uppercase so for that what I'll do is I'll call my iron button within that text transform none all right now once that is done I'll work on my iron label now within the iron label let me pass some padding to the left and right I'll pass a padding of 5 pixels then to the title let me work on that and then we will see the output 800 just like we did earlier font size 1.5 em and it is working right now the next thing I'm going to work on the p tag font weight bold font size 1 em margin top 1 vh and it is working right that's great so this part is done now we need to work on the and content let's work on that so I'll go to the signage sign in page HTML and work on my and content now to my and content I will set full screen to be true and let me pass the color to be primary all right now the whole thing is yellow right now now in my iron content I will have an iron list lines none now in my iron list I will have an iron item group and I will pass a class out here iron padding now I'll close my autosave for the time being let me write down everything first so within my iron item group I will pass a form and it will be form group and I will pass form up in here so in order to work with that now what I have to do at first I will go to my sign in module.ts file and instead of forms I will write reactive forms alright and then I will go to the typescript file and pass a property called form which will be of type form group and let's import it up now we will not see any error up in here that's great now this is not a design which you can see up in here we'll work on that don't worry let me first quickly build up the form now within the form I will have an iron item the color of it will be light and class let me pass a class called username and within that I will have an iron input to which I will pass a class iron margin horizontal I'll just show you guys just hold for a minute once let me type everything and then I will explain you guys home control name will be equals to username the type will be text and I will also pass a placeholder user name all right and we can see up in here the iron item okay okay this should be iron 
padding i just gave the equal sign my mistake i'll go to the sign in page and out in here we can see the padding right so that is fine now i have the username then i will have the password also and for that i am going to copy this up and paste it out here now this time i don't need any class to be passed up in here i will simply pass iron margin i need horizontal padding sorry iron margin bottom i need margin at the bottom will be needed up in here all right and within that i will have again iron input and margin horizontal that's fine type will be password and form control name will be password placeholder will also be password okay as you can see up in here it is showing up now let's work on the work on our iron list all right in the scss let's do some styling up in here so what i'll do is within my iron content i have my iron list to the iron list i will give it a height of 100% so that it can take the full size all right and now what i'll do is i'll pass a border radius to my iron list that will be to the top left i will have 20 pixel to the top right i will have 20 pixel and other places i don't need any border radius now i can see the border radius right but the url as you can see it is not the one which i am needing so let me just check the url now let's go to the welcome page and out in here i am not passing the url in this manner or the router link in this manner what i'll do is i'll make an array and within that at first i am going to pass slash then next thing i need is welcome i'll pass its string within within the quotes all right slash welcome then login i don't know that that should have also worked but i don't know now let's check it out all right all right i think i'm getting some error let me check it out out in here okay i have not passed any form control so i have to do that up and that is why i am getting the error and that is why the url is not working so this will also work uh, let me do it in this manner as earlier so this will also work let's go to my sign in page type script and let me work on it now let's remove the error first so for that in my constructor i will create i'll pass say function call init form and now let me declare a function called init form where i'm going to initialize my form now here i'll use this dot form equals to new form group and within that i'm going to pass an object where i'm going to pass username new form control and the initial value will be empty string validators in the validator side i'm going to pass validators dot required and i have to import this stuff I have to import the form control also and the error will go away now one more thing i need i'll do it for my password also and here i'm going to pass validators dot mean length and i will pass minimum of eight characters needed all right so, so that is what i'm going to do up in here now let's go back to my html and at last i need to close it all right now let's go to the html and now if i click on it now you can see no errors right and if i go to the sign in now no error is showing up and if i check the url it is showing properly all right that's great now let's work on the other stuff now after this ion item i will again have a p tag to which you can pass a class ion text right and this will hold in ion text within that i'm going to pass forgot password all right and it is showing up up in here all right the next thing which i will have let me just break it down a bit is an iron button which you can see out here right the size of this button will be large expand equals to block shape to be round color to be dark well too many stuffs i passed and i also need to pass a click event to it i'll name it on submit and even i will also pass another property called disabled which will be equals to not a form if the form is not valid it will not show all right let me pass a question mark that will be great now once that is done i will have an iron text within this button to which i am going to pass sign in all right and let's quickly 
create this function otherwise the error will pop up and you can see out here we have the button on submit or instead of disabling it out there what I'll do is in here I will pass a condition if this dot form dot valid is not true then I'm simply going to return and if I'm doing that up up in here I can simply remove this disabled if you want you can show it all right now I will pass it in the comments so that you can remember this thing okay so that's up to you if you want to apply it or not now it looks pretty nice I like the black color actually dark color and that is why I have removed the disabled property now after the form now after this iron item group what I'll do is I'll create another iron item group to which I will give pass some class iron padding and also I'll be applying some additional CSS to it so I'll pass a class group now within this iron item group what I'll do is I will have an item and to this I will again pass the same username class I'll be needing that I'll explain you what is it out here I will have an iron icon slot will be start name will be logo Google color will be danger and then I will have an iron label as you can see out here it is showing right now out here I will have an iron label where I'm going to write continue with Google all right and I will also have an iron icon at the end the slot will be end name will be arrow forward outline and we can see the text also up in here all right so this is also done now I'll simply copy this whole iron item and paste it out here again now the only changes which I'll do out here is iron margin vertical then the name of it will be Facebook the color will be primary because Facebook color is almost bluish color right and other things will be as it is all right so designing is done and I will not have the primary color actually let me see okay I have the tertiary color I think this is the color which I need to pass hit save and let's see the output that's great so now the designing is done let's work on the CSS part right now to give some additional styling to it all right let's work on that now so out in here after the iron list within my iron list I'll work on my p tag also I'll give it a font size of say 0.9 em and I'll work on my iron item also all right text is changing that's great now to my iron item I'll pass a border radius of 20 pixel and within that I have iron input also to which I am going to pass a font size of 0.9 em and as you can see out here I have the border radius reflected up in here and the input size is also changed right so that's great now I'll work on the username class out here I will give margin 20 pixel 0 top 20 pixel right 0 bottom I'll give 10 pixel and left 0 pixel now as you can see we have some margin up in here right it's reflecting nicely even out here also I can see that all right then I will work on the iron, iron button also so what styling I'm going to give up there let me give some margin top of say 2vh and some iron text font size also and I want to change the font size of my iron text also to be say 0.9 em and hit save let's see the output okay so did it change or not no, I want it a little smaller so let me pass 0.8 rem em sorry I think this is good right this is much better so I'll keep it in this way and out here also I think 0.8 will be better out here 0.9 is good for uh, my input now you can see the forget password is also short enough that's great now margin top let me give it 3 vh I think I need little more margin now it's fine right now once that is done I'll work on my group an item group the second one I've passed a class called group and to that I'm going to pass a background that's gonna be dash dash iron color light now you can see the background is white now all right this is great and I will pass 
height of 100% so that I can have it now this one also I need to be light that is why I'll pass this all right now once that is passed I'll work on the iron item which is this one all right now to this I will give some shadow web kit box shadow now you can see this is gone right now let's quickly work on the shadow now you can see I have given some shadow up in here to the bottom of this iron item all right and it is showing nicely that's great now the last thing I need to work on the iron label which is this text what I need to do out here out there I will give a font weight of bold and font size to be 1 em all right so it is getting reflected up in here that's great let's see and we have built up the same design out in here also that's great now if I go back and I can jump in out here again now one thing I can do is if I'm typing out here anything all right well I cannot see the errors so let's work on the errors now now in order to show the errors what I'll do is out in here I will have an iron text now within this iron text I'm going to pass please enter your user name all right and it is showing up in here now all right now let me give it a condition and what that condition will be now ng if form dot gate so the form is the name of the form group which I've given as a property I've used it all right then I'll pass in here the name the form control name that is form group dot valid but I want to check if it is not valid and the most important thing is that that I have touched it okay username dot touched all right then I'm going to pass this error let's check it out say if I'm touching it and clicking anywhere else then I'm getting this error all right so that's good now let's do the same for our password also so out here I'm going to what I'll do is I've already paid I've already written it up so let me show you guys quickly I've passed here the condition if it is not valid and touched and out here what am I doing is I have two iron text let me break it up a bit for you guys now out here at first I have an iron text where I'm checking that if the if the password has an error which is for required field okay if it is not uh, because if I'm not entering anything up in here that means it is a required field and it will give me that error otherwise I have one more error that can be passed up in here which is this one the minimum length error and when this is occurring I don't want the other error to occur so I've given it a not condition that if it is not a, if it is a required field there is no error such as required and only the min length uh, error is there then only it will work and I will pass here password must be of at least eight characters all right because I passed the min length up in there let me hit save and see the output now so I'll try to type something or let me hit sign in nothing is happening as of now out in here I'll not type anything even out here also I'll not type anything and I'll click out here and I can see the both the errors if I type here something the error changes all right so this is happening now what I'll do is I'll pass some styling to it so let me pass a class called error out here also I'll pass the same class and let's go to our SCSS now at last I'm going to pass dot error class font size to be 0.75 rem and the color let me pass the color out there only because as this is iron text so I can pass it directly color danger okay out here I need to pass I have passed in the wrong place I think now it is fine let me try again all right it is showing up in here I need to pass the same thing to my username also yeah out here and it's working all right now what I'll do is as you can see there is a lot more spacing up in here so let me fix that now out here I'm passing a margin bottom what I'll do is I'll cut this and call out here iron item group out here I'm going to pass this color oh sorry this margin 
and wrap everything within this group it also got changed now it's fine let me pass everything within this group all right and let's do the same out here also even we can pass within a div also but i al already have a tag so i'll use that up now the username is also giving some margin let's check it now so the error is coming up nicely now that's great all right and even i want some margin so what i'll do is let me go to the scss and or instead of doing it out here what i'll do is now let me pass a margin up in here margin left 5 pixel a little more is required let me give one vh i think that will be fine i am okay with this all right or if you need little more or you can center it up also if needed all right but i don't want to center it up let me give it 1.5 i think will be good now i don't want to center it up this time in the earlier video i have centered it up you can you can work on that okay this will be 0 1.5 the choice is obviously yours and this is fine now at the edge that's pretty good now if the form is not valid and i am clicking on the sign in i cannot go ahead but i am unable to see the errors so let's fix that up for that what i'll do is let me put everything into the braces and i'll execute something on the form this dot form dot mark mark all as touched now this functionality i'm going to pass now what it will do is it will mark all the form properties as touched okay all the form fields so let me try it again i'll hit sign in and i can see the errors all right that's great that's even great so my form validation is also done now let me quickly create the sign up page also for that i'll go to the powershell ionic g page within my welcome i will have another page called sign up all right now the page is created and i will what i'll do is i'll simply copy all the things from my sign in to the sign up page just copy all the stuff all right now let's go to the welcome page i'll copy this router link and paste it out here also instead of sign in i'll write sign up now it will not display because i have to pass reactive form up in here now it's gonna work so now i paused out the router link up in here let's try it out i'll hit sign in sign up and see what happens and i'm getting the result all right you can see the url it's getting changed so we are into the sign up page now let's build it up quickly out here i will write sign up then a slight message instead of register i will write sign in all right or login will be good and out here in order to go to the login what i'll do is i will pass a router link which will be equals to slash welcome slash sign in all right so this is the url i'll come back from the welcome page so in that manner there is no change at all and i'm able to navigate to that particular page also so that is okay now once that is done and as you can see the changes are getting reflected up in here and if i click on the login you can see i'm getting to the sign in page and if i click back i'm coming to the sign in page sign up page and back then i'm up here let's do the same up in my sign in page also sign sign in will be sign up okay yeah that's right and sign up will be sign in okay right all right so this is done so this will work properly let me go to the sign up page again and let's work on it up out here what i'll do is the task is not pretty huge so i'll remove this and change it to sign up all right other things will remain same then one extra thing that i will have up in here is the name property so i will copy it up and paste in here i will remove this class not needed and out here i am going to change it to name name enter your name this one will also be name name all right because i will have another property called name or field called name up in here let me pass it out here also otherwise it will give me an error and that's it okay it is giving me some error 
and this error is coming because by mistake I have passed it in sign in page I'll cut this and pass it to the sign up page pardon me for that now there are no errors and I am into the sign up page all right and the transition is working nicely if I go to the login I'm able to navigate back back to the sign in register back back and everything is working smoothly right now I need to have some spacing up in here also so what I'll do for that in my sign up page I think I have to pass the class out here also now it is fine all right now this is not nice now the margin out here is not proportional so what I'll do is I'll remove this class and instead of this I'll pass some other class let me call it form user all right and let's go to my sign up page scss in here i will pass user form user and to that i will give a margin bottom of 10 pixel i think that should work now it's perfect right that's pretty great and if i if i'm checking up in here this is working right that's great so everything is working nicely now the only thing that is left now let's go back now the only thing that is left is, is to change this logo and make it compatible for our cafe also so for that i'll go to the welcome page html and in here i will simply change this to cafe all right and it is already available in my assets folder images imgs folder and i have all right cafe small and this is working so our app is ready for cafe also right now isn't it and everything will remain same now let me change it to iphone 6 or 7 or 8 and let's see out there how it looks like i'm into the sign up page and i do not see any back button so that is a problem in ios so for that what i have to do i have to pass a color called dark i'll pass it dark color because by default it is taking the primary color which is not good out in here I'll do the same in my sign up sign in also now we can see a back button right that's great out here also I'll pass it and let's check it out out here also and it is working right so that's great so our application is properly running no problems we have whatever problems we have faced we have executed that and solved it up and our app is ready for a coffee cafe or a beer bar all right so we have completed this video congratulations for that you have learned a lot and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel share with your friends and do hit the like button and also do hit the bell button also to get all the updates in my channel so see you guys in the next video thank you very much